Hello people, welcome back to another edition of You Know What Grinds My Gears. In this episode, the topic is ghosting. Last episode was ghost, this time it's ghosting. Because, I gotta be honest with you people. This is a topic that I've been wanting to tackle for a long time. Because this is something that's been kind of affecting me relatively recently. And you know, it's it's a heartbreaking thing. If you don't know what ghosting is, ghosting is when someone you know either dodges your calls, doesn't read your text messages, and the particular ghost thing that I'm really that really irks me is when someone read your text message and doesn't respond back, especially when you have pre-made plans with them. This is what really fucking drives me over the moon because you know you have expectations of you know getting ready of, of planning things with them and you are you tell them hey you know what's up and they they don't respond back and they saw that shit so it's like what the fuck is up so the main reason why i wanted to have uh, I made this video because I wanted to have a discussion of like how should you take this because I've been feeling very conflicted on how you should take this because I get it we're all human you know we we do we slip up shit happens where you read a message and you know you get maybe get caught up in a situation or you know emergency happens and you don't have time to hit them back or you just forget to hit them back and you know I understand that I give some leeway to it I only really give leeway to it when it becomes an emergency because I get it especially if it's like a life or death you know don't don't be on the phone all right put the fucking phone down and take care of what you got to take care of but you know when it comes to when people maybe get lost in a moment I kind of feel like that sh that displays the level of careness they have for you, you know? Is that they don't, I feel like they don't give a shit about you if they just like, oh, saw your text and just whatever, you know? If you're caught up in a moment of something, wait till you have time to read my message, you know? Because I feel like what happens nowadays is that we have, we're so responsive to the phones now that maybe perhaps there's these, these people that they just, you know, get that notification, they look, all right, they read, but they're like, oh, let's put it back down, you know? And I, I'm not like that. Well, I used to be like that, you know? I'm a bit hypocritical to this. I'll, I'll give a disclaimer to that. I'm a bit hypocritical because in my teen years, I probably, I, uh, I admit, I've been, I was a ghoster. There's been situations where I planned something with a friend and I took a nap because naps are awesome. Sometimes better than friends. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, that was a fucked up thing to do. And I try to, I don't do that now. I really tried my best to avoid that situation. You know, I wait till I very least read it, you know. And this is what I got to give out to the people with my messaging. You know, I will read your message. It might take me some time, but I will read your message eventually. You know, I find the opportunity to, because I care, you know, I do. And when the people, they, they, when they, they don't do that, I feel like they don't care, you know, and it hurts me. So what should I do? You know, should I just like, just still stick with them and be understanding or just fuck them? Cause that's my, that's how I feel. I feel the more fuck them route because I rather spend my time with people that who are responsive, who do care. You know, who go fall through with the plans than people that just, you know, just fucking are in la-la land or they're in whatever situation that they're in, you know. But yeah, tell me down in the comments below, how do you handle this situation? Are you a ghoster? Do you feel bad being a ghoster, huh? Hurting people's hearts, you know? Is there a situation where ghosting's okay? Because I think they're probably, I understand there probably there's some situations where ghosting's okay, you know. The situation I feel where is okay is like, yeah, you actually don't like a person, you know, and you don't want to stop talking to them, ignore them, you know. 
but you know, I feel like that's especially that's good when you're they're harassing you. You know, definitely ignore that shit or try to, you know, if they're physically, I mean, um, like threat, like threatening you, get the law on that shit. But you know, if you, you know, it was like a friend, kitty. I got a new cat I'm making noises. You know, if you have, you know, you're in like a mixed friendship with someone. And you really don't feel like being friends with them. I think you should be. I think it's more of a man, more of a person of you, to tell them, up, be blunt. Hey, I don't want to be friends with you or something. You know, instead of just fucking ignoring them. Cause you know, I feel like that's how you create school shooters, to be honest. But I don't know. What do you guys think? So, yeah, I got any more bitching about that? Trying to think. No, that's really about it. Alright, peace out.